Benzene is an organic compound with the molecular formula C6H6. In this Buzzle post, we provide you with the polarity and steps to create the Lewis dot diagram of this aromatic compound. About benzene Benzene is a sweet-smelling hydrocarbon having a pale yellow color. It is denser than air, and highly volatile. Benzene, a constituent of crude oil, is an organic chemical compound. Its molecular formula is C6H6. It contains six carbon and hydrogen atoms each. Thus, it is termed hydrocarbon. The carbon atoms are linked to each other in a ring pattern. The hydrogen atoms lie outside the ring structure, each connected to a single carbon atom. This element is aromatic, colorless, and highly flammable. It is widely used for painting slash printing, for manufacturing chemicals, and in the petrochemical industry. However, it is known to be carcinogenic. Empirical formula of benzene C6H6 Empirical representation is used to indicate the ratio of atoms of different elements of a compound. Consider the image above. It represents the structure of benzene. This compound contains six atoms of carbon linked to six atoms of hydrogen. So, if we divide the total number of carbon atoms by the total number of hydrogen atoms, the ratio equals one. Thus, the empirical formula becomes CH. How to draw the Lewis structure for benzene, C6H6. The Lewis diagram represents the valence electronic configuration of every atom of a compound. It is also called the electron dot structure. Note that each bond is represented as two dots placed a little apart. Given below are the steps for creating the Lewis structure of benzene. Step number one The first step involves determining the valence electrons for each atom of the compound. The molecular formula for benzene is C6H6. The atomic number of carbon is 14, and that of hydrogen is 1, which implies that they have 4 and 0 valence electrons, respectively. Step number two Add up the valence electrons for each atom in order to obtain the total number of valence electrons. In this case, the number of valence electrons for benzene is to be found. Valence electrons of 6 carbon atoms equals 6 times 4 equals 24 valence electrons of 6 hydrogen atoms equals 6 times 1 equals 6. Each carbon forms a bond with one hydrogen atom. Therefore, no hydrogen atom is left unpaired. However, each carbon atom has three unpaired electrons, and requires three more to complete the octet. Step number three determine the number of electrons required for the elements of benzene to achieve octet complete outer shell of electrons. Each carbon requires three electrons to achieve an octet state. Thus, 18 electrons are required by benzene to reach a stable configuration. Step number four find the covalent bonds that are formed between carbon atoms. Remember that the formation of one bond requires two electrons. Create the structure with the covalent bonds. In the above diagram, each carbon atom can form one single and one double bond. Is benzene C6H6 polar or nonpolar? Benzene has a cyclic structure with CC double bonds. Hydrogen lies on the outer side of the ring structure. This implies that electrons are evenly distributed, which in turn leads to even distribution of charges in this aromatic compound. In other words, there are six CH bonds, and any dipole formed by these bonds is balanced by carbon and hydrogen itself. Thus, the net dipole becomes zero. The solvents are arranged in the order of their polarity. The polarity index of benzene can also be termed as relative polarity. Its value is 2.7, which indicates that benzene is nonpolar. Is benzene C6H6 soluble in water? Benzene is soluble in nonpolar solvents, but not soluble in polar solvents. Water, being a polar solvent, doesn't dissolve benzene. Its solubility percentage in water is 0.18%, which confirms that it is not soluble in water.